First thing first, we are going to make the corset cup. It is size small. To begin, we are going to make this diamond. Make a slip knot and chain 4. And now after you got 4 chains, for row 1 we are going to skip 1 chain and make 3 single crochet. Next, for row 2, chain 1, turn your work and make 3 single crochet. And now, start from row 3, we are going to make increase, chain 1, turn your work, make 2 single crochet into the same stitch. Next, make single crochet. And now, for the last stitch, we are going to make 2 single crochet into the same stitch. So for this row 3, we are going to make increase into the first stitch and increase into the last stitch. Next, after you have made increasing row, for the next row, we are going to make no more single crochet without increasing. So now after you got no more single crochet row, next row we are going to make increase again by increase into the first stitch and increase into the last stitch. Remember for this diamond we are going to make one row with increase and one row with no more single crochet. And now we are going to repeat this until you got 13 rows. If you guys want the cup bigger, please add more increasing rows.
To make your own size cup, I recommend you to bring your bra pad that fit to your boob size. And after you have made few rows of increase, then put it on the bra pad and measuring the length of the cup with the bra pad. Keep increasing until you reach the middle of the bra pad. Then we are going to make normal single crochet. And now after I got 13 rows of increase, next we are going to make normal single crochet for 4 rows. Start from row 14 until row 17. Next, we are going to make decrease for row 18, chain 1, turn your work, skip 1 stitch, then we are going to make single crochet into every stitches until you have 3 last stitches, then we are going to make decrease. And now after you had 3 last stitches, then we are going to make decrease by make 2 in 1 stitch. And for the last stitch, we are going to make single crochet. Next, for row 19, we are going to make no more single crochet without decrease. It is the same as the increasing part. We are going to make one row with decrease and one row with no more single crochet. And now after you reach the end of the row, for next row we are going to repeat row 18 and row 19 until you reach row 29, then I will meet you back again.
And now the diamond is done. Make sure that both sides have the same number of the roll and number of the stitches. Don't forget to try it on the bra pad again to see if it fit or not. And if you want the diamond longer, please add no more row at the middle part between increasing row and decreasing row. Next, we are going to make the white border above the diamond. To begin, attach the yarn into the first stitch. Chain 1 Then make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. Remember, start from this white color. You have to crochet it a little bit tight to make the diamond curve and it will become a bra cup. Next, for row 2, we are going to chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row, and I will meet you back again. And now after you reach the end of the roll, we are going to chain one and cut off the yarn. For next roll, we are going to attach the blue yarn and repeat the same thing as the white color until you got 6 rolls.
if you guys want the cup higher please add more rows here next we are going to make the border around the cup first attach the yarn and make single crochet into every stitches until you reach the corner and I will meet you back again And now after you have reached the corner, then we are going to skip the stitch at the corner and make single crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating this around until you reach the other side and I will meet you back again. Next, for row 2, we are going to chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row. Then we are going to repeat row 2 again until you got 3 rows with white color. And now after you got 3 rows, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Try it on the bra pad again to see if it fit or not. Then I am going to make one more row with blue color by repeat the same thing. For the second cap, after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to continue by slip stitch to connect the cap together. After you have connected the cup together, next we are going to slip stitch into the cup's border. Then turn the cup and make single crochet into the slip stitch. Thank you. 
Next, after you have made single crochet, then slip stitch to connect the roll. We are going to slip stitch one more time into the next stitch. It is used instead of chain 1. Then turn your work and we are going to make 2 single crochet and then slip stitch to connect the roll. Next, for row 3, we are going to slip stitch 1 and turn your work and make 3 single crochet and then slip stitch to connect the row. Next, for row 4, we are going to repeat row 3 by slip stitch, then turn your work and make 3 single crochet. And now start from row 5, we are going to make single crochet into each stitch until the end of the row and we are going to make increase into the last stitch, then slip stitch to connect the row. We are going to repeat row 5 until you got 17 rows. Then I will meet you back again. And now, after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make the side of the top. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 16. If you want the top bigger, you can add more chains. And now, after you got 16 chains, then turn your work. Next, for row 1, we are going to skip 1 chain and make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row. And now, after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to slip stitch into the border cap to connect the row. For 
For row 2, we are going to slip stitch 1 Then, turn your work and make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row Make sure don't forget to count the number of the stitches so you will know that your stitch is staying normal or increasing And now, after you reach the end of the row, for row 3, we are going to chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row, and then we are going to slip stitch to connect the row. Keep repeating this until you got 6 row with 15 stitches, then I will meet you back again. And now, after you got 6 row with no more single crochet, next, for row 7, we are going to make single crochet until the end of the row. For the last stitch, we are going to increase by make 2 single crochet into the same stitch. After you have made 2 single crochet into the same stitch, then slip stitch to connect the row. For row 8, we are going to slip stitch 1, turn your work, and make no more single crochet until the end of the row. So start from row 7, we are going to make 1 row with increase and 1 row with no more single crochet. Keep repeating row 7 and row 8 until you reach row 17, then I will meet you back again. If you guys make bigger caps, please add more increasing roll until you reach the bottom of the cap.
For the other side, we are going to repeat the same thing by attach the yarn and chain 16 the same and make no more single crochet for 6 row. Then from row 7, we are going to make increase until you reach the bottom of the cup. Make sure that both sides have the same number of the row and number of the stitches. Next, we are going to make the lower part. First, attach the yarn and make single crochet into every stitches until you reach the bottom of the cup. So you can see this part is a little bit low, so we are going to make single crochet a little bit loose. Then we are going to make slip stitch. Make sure that lower part roll are going straight. So we making single crochet and slip stitch. It depend on current situation. If some part are low, you have to make single crochet a little bit loose. And some part that you think is already tall, like the bottom of the cup here. So you just make slip stitch only. And now after you have made few slip stitch, so you can see this part is a little bit low. So we are going to make single crochet a little bit loose. And now you can see that this part is look straight, not curving. Next, we are going to continue mixing go crochet into this middle part until you reach the other bottom cup. Then we are going to make slip stitch again. And now after you have made slip stitch, then you can see the lower spot here. We are going to make single crochet a little bit loose. Then we are going to make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row. For next row, we are going to chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row. Keep repeating this until you got 25 rows of lower part. If you want the top longer, please add more rows. And now after you got your desired fit, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make the white border at the bottom of the top. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 3. Then make the ball crochet into the same stitch with chain 3. Next, skip 3 stitches and start making the ball crochet into the 4th stitch. Chain 3 Then skip 3 stitches and start make V double crochet into the same loop with previous stitch Keep repeating this until you reach the end of the row
And now, after you reach the end of the roll, then chain one and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make the back corset. To begin, attach the yarn and chain one. Make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. And now, after you reach the end of the row, for row 2, we are going to chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet into every stitches until the end of the row. We are going to repeat row 2 until you got 3 rows of single crochet. And if you want the top bigger, you can add more rows. And now, after you got 3 rows of single crochet, next, for row 4, we are going to make the corset hole. First, chain 1, turn your work. Then, make 3 single crochet. Skip 3 stitches, then make 2 single crochet. And now, after you have made 2 single crochet, then chain 3, skip 3 stitches, and make 2 single crochet again. We are going to repeat this into every stitches until the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to repeat the same thing to the other side. For the right side, I'm start from up here to the bottom. 
make sure that both sides have the same number of the stitches and the same number of the corset holes next we are going to make the corset bone so this point is the middle part you can fold the top into two pieces to find the middle part and count two stitches away from it to begin make a slip knot then attach the yarn Next, I am going to skip one stitch and start slip stitch into the next stitch. We are going to repeat this until you reach the bottom of the cup and then I will meet you back again. After you reach the bottom of the cup, next we are going to make it backward to where we start. Make sure that you make it not too tight or too loose. Now after you reach the end of the roll, then leave a long tail of the yarn and cut it off. Next, we are going to make the strap for the top. First, try it on your body and use stitch marker to mark where you want to make the strap. 
Then attach the yarn and chain long enough until you reach your desired fit. And we are going to make single crochet into every stitches until you reach the end of the row and I will meet you back again. And now after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to slip stitch and leave a long tail, then cut off the yarn. And now we are going to repeat the same thing into the other side. Next, for the back lace, we are going to make slip knot and chain long enough until you got your desired fit, then make single crochet for 3 rows. It is really easy and simple. And now your corset top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below and share this to your friend. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notification bell so you will notify when I post the video. Please stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.